Hey, hello there. This is going to be a short update on the dimension tools. Um, this is the file and we have updated the nodes for uh, the new Blender 4.2. There's a new alignment node that needs to be implemented in all our tools. And we are working our way through all the tools that we have uh, published. And also for this tool, uh, someone had a question to make more options for the arrows because we already had this that you can do just a standard arrow but for maybe more technical drawings you can also now use uh, different kinds of arrows which are also uh, possible in uh, technical sheets that you can make with SolidWorks or uh, uh, other kinds of uh, technical programs. So as we can see here, we have a new parameter, which is called arrow options. And we have clicked this dimension. You can see we have different options now. So we can set the arrows to the outside. Uh, we can set dots uh, and we can set lines. And this sometimes makes it clear where the line ends and begins. So you have these options and everything is still scalable with the arrow length for example uh, and the arrow radius and it works the same way with the dots so the radius makes the uh, dots bigger they're not really dots they're actually real geometry so it's a little ball so from uh, also perspective modes as you can see here orthographic view you get a nice depth in your uh, dimensions if you want to see them straight on, then you should have like an orthographic view from one of the axes. So we did this for all of the dimensions. So you can choose where you want them. Also this one, you can say dot or a line or the arrow the other way. So now the arrow is going into the model. But if you have a line somewhere that you can st still see the arrow when it's flipped, then you can use this option. So this is the update and um, hopefully it becomes a little bit more useful. And if you have any suggestions, just let me know and we will implement it. Okay, bye.